Good morning, FS Club. Welcome back, channel, and welcome back to FS News. Still going to take me a minute to get used to saying that one. Been saying FS Daily News for way too long. Well, for probably about five or six years. Well, today we have news from five different modders, plus some big news from Giants themselves. From Giants, we'll be going over one of the new crops in the upcoming DLC, plus some news on custom modding's Vile Metal and how close it is to being done. For a testing list, well, there is not one for today, at least at the time of recording. Now, question of the day. What system do you mostly play on? Also, what other kind of games you play that isn't Farming Simulator? Let me know in the comments section below. Also, yesterday in yesterday's FS Daily, sorry, not FS Daily News, in the FS News video yesterday, we hit over that 400 like mark. So a big thank you to you guys. Let's see if we can hit that again on this video. Remember, before we get to the news, make sure to hit the like button, smack that sub button, and ring that bell. Now roll that intro. Let's see this news. Welcome back. Okay, so here we go with that. Oh, wait, hold on. Gotta get to the comment of the day from the question that was asked for yesterday. I almost forgot about that. Okay, anyways, question for the day yesterday was this one. It was... Who's your favorite modder for farming simulator? So a pretty simple one. The comment was Illinois Farmer 5186. So a big shout out to him. It says every single modder has contributed something amazing to this community of ours in each their own way. My personal favorite are Sid modding and custom modding, but I do love everyone that helps grow this amazing community. It says hashtag FS Club rules. Okay, I might have been a little bit biased on that one. But he is right though. A lot of modders have contributed so much to this game. And it's also especially good when you see like modders actually working together. Like if you guys did not know this, Alma, Missouri, one of the one of the biggest maps that have actually came out recently, it was not just made by Chibalki. He had help from like uh let's see, BC Bueller, he had help from uh he had help from Lancy Boy. A lot of modders actually contributed into that amazing map. Love it when modders do that kind of stuff. And just think, guys, this is just still like the middle of FS22. We still have a lot of mods to go, and we're going to be soon, hopefully, announcing a new farming game in the next few months. So if you guys are actually interested in getting shouted out in one of my videos, make sure you guys answer that question of the day, and you guys might get shouted out. Okay, now let's get to the regular news for today. And of course, that first piece of news is from Giants themselves about the premium expansion and the new crop that will be coming soon with that, which is carrots, which if you guys are on PC and you guys are interested in getting this expansion, make sure you guys click on the club's affiliate link down in the description, guys. You guys can buy it from there. It does not cost any extra and it actually helps out the club. If you guys have the year two season pass, remember, this comes free with it. OK, anyways, let's talk about carrots. But before we get into that, remember, with this new expansion, it will be including carrots, parsnips, and red beets. They will all soon be added to the list of available crops for Farming Simulator, and that is going to be amazing. I've never seen three new crops in a expansion. Anyways, when does this come out? This comes out November the 14th. So let's actually take a look at the carrots now. We actually kind of have like a little bit of a fact sheet about carrots. Okay, let's see. Yield per hectare acre is 77,000 liters. Average selling price is about 1,320 uh, per liter. I think per 1,000 liters. Uh, seeds per hectare acre is only 10 liters. That's barely anything. Growth duration is only four months. Uh, planted in April through June. and Sorry, April through July. And harvested during August through November. So it only takes like, what, four months to actually grow. Uh, let's see. While most of the field procedures are, of course, the same as for other crops, there are not only new machines that come into play when planting and harvesting carrots. There's a new field working step, too. After plowing the field, you actually create ridges using the Grimmy GF400 and the 800 rotary hillers. Uh, rotary hillers, sorry, I said that wrong. It has a positive effect on the yield as it counts towards the full stage of fertilization. So the question is, is, can you use fertilizer or do you have to use this? Uh, for sowing carrots and the other crop additions, the premium expansion provides you with new seeders like the Cavernlin Minar Nova series, which that looks amazing right there. Uh, for harvesting, there are also multiple machines you can choose from. You can either operate the DeWolf ZKIVSE, a self-propelled four-row top lifting harvester with discharge elevator and the highlight machine of this expansion 
or in case you need a smaller and more affordable option for your current farming operation, a trail top lifter harvester like the D-Wolf GBC might be the one to go for. Well, might be the one to go for. So that is all the news we have on Keras. I'm very, very excited to actually be able to get a new crop in Farming Simulator. Okay, so now for the regular news for today, the first one we have is from Hispan on modding. He is making this project right here. He says, after a little more than a week with this pro new project, we have started to see the results. This is a Thunder 4x4 off-road. Real brand? It says unknown. In-game brand, it will be a Lizard. Uh, let's see, this thing will be coming out to PC and consoles. So we're seeing the first steps of this new project right here. Okay, and after that one, we have some news from Classic American Icons Modding. Of course, his Twin Panther was sent off for testing actually a few days ago. And just a little bit of an update on it is still waiting to be tested. He said he just wanted to show off a few pictures and it looks really good. Who's actually planning on using this on their farm? This is a big piece of machinery. I think they said, well, like almost eight, 900 horsepower on this thing. Yeah, to that one, we have some news from EED 123 3D Corner, the Madra Agro G KDB 611 plus the KDB 511 disc arrows are now done. Only two more left, and they will be sent into the mod up. And there is also an update about integrating the brand into the game. So Madra Agro soon will be available at all platforms. So a new brand will be coming to Farming Simulator, and that will be coming to all platforms. And looks like we also have some news from custom modding. Just a little bit of a tease right here with these few pictures right here. But the Val Metal is almost complete. Remember, this is a mod that will be coming out to all platforms. So all the models and sizes are now in game and it's ready for the final test. This is going to be a big brand that will be coming out very soon. And then yesterday we were talking about something from IJ Created Design about a new trailer he's been working on. Well, he's been constantly working on this. He said, so I think the project is about done. I'll send off a crossplay version with the Lizard branding very soon to Giants. Decided to add the option for the 30th anniversary emerald green colors and decals for the 16T model, inspired by the actual example made recently by the AW trailers. He will keep everybody updated on the testing progress. And I tell you what, that actually looks really good with that uh, 30 year uh, sticker right there. What do you guys think about it? Would you guys use this on your farm too? Well, right there was the news for today. It's kind of kind of sad that there is not a test list. We were actually going on a little bit of a roll of getting that test list. Hopefully we see the last one for the week tomorrow. Now, as for today's schedule, there is no other video because, well, my favorite team is actually playing tonight, so I'll be watching that. The next live stream will be actually tomorrow at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. Don't know, we might be playing on Alma or American Falls update. Anyways, hopefully you guys did enjoy the video and we hit that 400 like goal. Remember, if you guys did like the video, a like would be appreciated. Also, if you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. Also, make sure you hit that sub button and ring that bell. Like I said, I post videos every single day about my favorite game, Farming Simulator. Well, I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a great one, guys. Peace. Stumbling out of bed and I still got you in my head From all those pretty words you said It's like I'm wasted Every time I see your face I'm losing track of time and space I don't know where I am It's like I'm wasted And I won't waste it And I promise that I